Hello everybody, what's up? Cedric and Cedric here, CR Wrestling Commentary, and we will be reviewing New Japan Pro Wrestling G1 Climax 34, Day 10. And, uh, okay, so, here we go. Five matches, and hope y'all uh, are alright with this new format. It's, it's kind of difficult for me. But, um, it's all B-block action, so we start off with Bolton Oleg versus David Finley. All right, so it was, it was all right. It was all right. It was an opening match. Yeah. Um, David, uh, he did his father's move, which Fit called it the Finley Roll. And uh, then Bolton, he got the short version on. Then Bolton tried to corner to center of the ring uh, steamroller version of it, but he was countered. Finley wins with the suplex knee lift. Got the pin. There were no shenanigans, no shillelagh, um, plenty of spit, and gave kid back on commentary. So, yeah, there you go. So next we get uh, Yuya Wemura versus El Fantasmo, and this was a good match. This it had a it had a slow start. Yeah, it it, it, it picked up as it went along. Yuya Wemura, the last uh, match he had, he, and I swear that he debuted the flashing elbow on that. He didn't do it tonight. Mm -mm. Uh, but I'm like, maybe he's got to work with it a little bit more. But I thought it looked all right. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it, right. Wasn't, it wasn't KG style. Actually, but it was, if you saw KG when he first started doing it, it was pretty much the same. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, okay, early on. I'm yeah, KG had to find his own. Get it perfected. Yep. Uh, ELP, he won with the bridging schoolboy roll-up, but he lifted his legs for added weight. And he got he got the, the pin. I don't know. I, I can't really agree with it, but it, it is what it is. Yeah. Then we get Hinade versus Jeff Cobb, so interfaction battle. Yeah. Um, you know, Cobb, he won with Tour of the Islands from, it, from I'm, I'll be honest with you, it, it looked like Hinade was mentally defeated. Yeah. He just pulled him up from the mat and just pulled him into the move and did it. He, he, I mean, he, they, Jeff, Jeff Cobb wasn't all over Hinade, but Jeff Cobb is so big and so strong. <laughs> You're taking the blows from him, and you're trying to move him around. It's got to be absolutely exhausting. Yep. Hinati is on the mat. He did the uh, United Empire boast. Cobb did it, and Cobb grabbed his hand. He yanked his ass up. So, I mean, it, and they were very gentle with each other in that match. You can yeah. easily see it. So, that might not look good in the eyes of the office, because it, it's not about the shenanigans. It's just when New Japan usually want the the wrestlers to look their work look like they're working stiff, and this looked very patty cake, especially when you know how both of them can work. Um, what's next? Uh, we got Konosuke Takeshita versus Hiroki Goto. That was a good match. Goto won with the GTR, got the pin. The fans wanted this so much, you would think this was a main event title match. They were counting with the count and everything. They were cheering Goto. And some was cheering uh, Takeshita. Mm -hmm. uh, they, the fans were so live they in were. this match. So live. And this right here, wow. When I, saw, I was like, okay, Takeshita versus Goto. This is going to be a good match, and, and it was. was. It was a damn good match. Goto he, looks so good. He did. Um, did you just need it with a fresh haircut. Yeah, he had a fresh haircut. Um, it, it, the match would have been just as good even if Kanosuke had won. Yeah. Either way, it was just they performed really well. I was so love for Kanosuke to just stay here in New Japan. Just, just stay home. Yep. Just stay home. I'd, I'd rather him not go back to DDT. Just, just stay in New Japan, or um, go to any other. Just, just go anywhere but DDT and he AEW. Can, he can go where, where he, where he wants to go in, in Japan, 
as long as he keeps perfecting the skill he has shown us. Yeah, be this guy. Yeah. Don't just, do just any don't fall off. Yeah, mm-hmm. don't do any stupid stuff, you know. Just nothing stupid cuz this I love this version of Konosuke. Or if you want to be all country about it, uh Konosuke. Yeah, you might as well be all slack jaw with that one. So then we get to the main event of Ren Narita versus Yota Suji. And it hit me. It had to hit. I was like, wow, they were in the same class together. They were both young lions together. Yeah. Um, I don't remember the commentary bringing that up. We couldn't hear the commentary because Gabe Key was on it and I had it turned down. <laughs> that, that, that makes sense. I'd rather um, not hear him talk. So there you go. <laughs> Yo. Uh, Yota, he won uh, with the spear. It was an uphill battle. It was a very he, uphill battle. He but was struggling and clawing because the reader was was cheating. Yeah, in any in every way that he could. I get what Dow Jones is saying. Yeah, I, I I'm like I'm not happy with this guy. Red Narita was like a go getter. He was like that dude you couldn't wait to see in the ring. I guess his go getting up and went. He was tagging with Kitamura at one point. Uh, they was doing the Young Lion tag team thing or something. I don't know what was going on at the time. But it was before Kitamura got hurt. Yeah. And it was like some months before graduation and whatnot. Yeah. But, and Kitamura, how well he would be today. Oh, you, man. I know. It's so sad. It is. It, it really is. Um, but this, this match here... This was not a good match. This match should have gone on third or fourth. You know, and Goto and Konosuke should have certainly been the main, main event. event. Suji had to work too damn hard for such a bullshit match. Ren Narita, I am not happy with this Ren Narita. I okay. do not like him. I am not happy with him. I do wish this guy would go away. I'm like, you did moves. Now you don't have them. Him and his douche face. Yeah, he worked on that douche face because he, he had he had a baby face before. He he stood in the mirror for many hours, perfecting the best ways to piss somebody off with his face, and he has succeeded. But I'm, I'm gonna say this about Ren Narita. Now, his cheating has a method, it has a formula, and it's not pathetic like Tai Chi's was. I got tired of Tai Chi getting the damn bell hammer. I got tired of that crap. Like once I saw him get that, I was like, I'm done with this match. Mm-hmm. Um, I, in order to would do better to have moves, to do stuff and then all the cheating could be spread out depending upon who he's wrestling and what he's wrestling for and that way when you see this all that cheating sparse through a match it makes sense but this was his cheating was really good it it was good it just didn't look like match ending stuff Mm-mm. and i swear suji kicked he, he he low blows Suji. He he got some move on, and then he tried to pin Suji. I swear Suji kicked out and hit him in the neck. Yeah, hit him in the, a, yeah. a, a low blow kick out. I've never seen that before. <laughs> so at least it's something new. Turn about is fair play. Yep, and Red Shoes was looking down like I um, know something that went down. Something but. happened with y'all. Y'all both cradling yourselves. <laughs> yep. Because Red Shoes was hunkering down in the corner, trying to keep from getting hit again. He knew. He was like, no, not in the face, not in the face. You can see it, no. <laughs> but he, 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 was, he was saved. He was saved. So uh, that's going to do it for us today. Um, so this has been Cedric and Cedric for CR Wrestling Commentary with New Japan Pro Wrestling, G1 Climax 34, Day 10. And with that, I want you all to be good, be chill, be safe. And, yeah, I got a lot of wrestling to watch. I got so much, and I'm tired right now. It's 7.22 p.m. I'm tired. But uh, I'll wake up eventually and see you next time.